Okay, once you have your work page set up, you are ready to write your equations, except that it might be helpful to go ahead and set up Desmos as well, so that it's ready to receive your equations once you've written them. So when you open up Desmos on your iPad or on a computer, you should see the screen here. You're gonna wanna make sure you sign in um, and you choose sign in with Google, otherwise it will not save your progress. You choose your normal account, okay? Make sure you see your name in this top right hand corner so that it knows um, that it, you are you, <laughs> that it's using the right person. So then over here on the left hand side, you'll see this little triple bar menu. When you click that, you can either open up old projects, things that you've worked on before. You can see over time, here's a little pine tree. There's my example with the um, jack-o'-lantern, et cetera. Or if you scroll all the way down, you'll see some examples, okay? So um, we want to either start a new blank graph or it should already start with one if you haven't made one before. So then where it says untitled graph, you want to create a name. So maybe Lime Project 2018. Click Save. What you should see then at the top of your screen is the new title, okay? Over on the left-hand side, as you know, is where we're gonna build our equations. So let's say your first few equations are typed in. Y equals two X plus one. Y equals 0.5 X minus four. Y equals two thirds X plus 10. I don't know, let's do minus 10. Okay, so we have these, these lines over here. But what you really want is a way to know which line is which, because when you're actually doing your project, you're gonna have multiple forms per line. Um, you're gonna wanna ask me for help and say, hey, can you help me on line 27? The only way for me to, be able to help you easily is for us to go ahead and label these lines with their line number, okay? So the way you do that is also by pressing this plus sign, but instead of choosing expression, which is what we've been doing, you choose note. When you click note, it enables you to just type text. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to write things like line one, oops, line two, line three, etc. okay? If you do it in the order I just did, you'll have to drag the line titles above the line themselves, okay? You could also enter all of the text initially, like so and then drag the equations in. Okay, so let's say you set up your entire project like this first, and then you start to write your equations. You can drag the, drag the equations underneath the titles as well. It is way easier to drag things around um, using the computer, but it is possible on your iPad. It's just a little bit finicky. Um, you have to kind of tap and hold, and it gets a little confusing. So it might be easier to do that from a computer, but it should work no matter what. So as you can see, this makes it really easy to see where is line one, where is line two, et cetera. You can turn off and on the lines if you need to. You can focus in on one if you want to turn everything off. Um, it just helps you to better see which lines are which, okay? Especially once you get multiple line forms within one line, okay? Now, you have other options, but they are not required. This is all that's required of you, is to make sure that you have line titles, okay? There's also something where you can create a folder when you do that, you might say like, uh, I don't know, main lines or something, it does not matter. When you create a folder, it's a little bit weird again to try to get the lines in the folder. You have to drag and then drag to the right. And then you kind of just have to cross your fingers that it's working because it doesn't show you that it's in the folder until you let go. See, I can't even get this one to go in there. <laughs> well, you get the point. I can tell this one's in there because of that line right there. So I could close it and it disappears. But, oh, there we go, see, it went in there. But it's kind of hard. I think it's actually easier on an iPad to make the folder work. But if you do that, then you can hide a bunch of things at once. But that's completely optional. All you have to have is line one, line two, line three, et cetera, okay? So here's some examples. Um, here's a girl that did the Stanford logo. You can see over here her titles, line one, line two, line three, et cetera, okay? Now, two years ago, they had to have three forms per line. Um, y'all only have to have two, which is nice. So y'all will not have this form. Um, you will only have one actually for Hoys and Bucks's. So she did way more work than y'all are gonna have to, which is awesome. But point is you can see really nice and easily her line titles. We could scroll all the way to the bottom and see that she ended up with 85 lines, okay? Another example, here's Des Bryant's jersey. May he rest in peace. Not really, but on the Cowboys. Um, this is somebody who used 
folders. Okay, so he had a folder for the helmet, a folder for the jersey, and then a, a folder for all of his shading. So if I open up the helmet folder, I can see, oh, again, there's line one with the forms, line two with the forms. Again, y'all do not have to have three, you only have to have two. Okay. Here's another example that went above and beyond. She did a folder for every single line. Again, you can do that if you want to, but is by no means required. So when I open up her line one, there's her three forms. When I open up her line two, there's her three forms. Y'all do not have to do that, however, okay? So just to recap, plus sign allows you to do a note and allows you to do the expression. That's the actual equation itself. You can also choose to do folders if you'd like. Um, you do not have to set everything up before you get started. You don't have to write line five all the way to 3000 here. Um, you can just add them as you go. But I wanted you to be aware of the different settings so that you're not trying to reorganize it all um, the day before it's due. Okay, we'll let your teacher know if you have any questions about setting up your Desmos.